Most gardeners spend hundreds of dollars on premium fertilizers and still get disappointing harvests. Meanwhile, a $30 investment in five simple amendments can triple yields permanently. Here's what the big gardening companies don't want you to know about soil science. Welcome to Grow Wise Vision, where we break down complex gardening science into actionable steps that actually work. If you're tired of disappointing harvests despite doing everything right, this video will change how you think about soil forever. In the next 10 minutes, you'll discover five science-backed soil amendments that address the real problems happening beneath the surface. No expensive equipment, no complicated chemistry, just proven methods that transform dead soil into a living, productive ecosystem. But before we dig in, if you're serious about growing better plants without wasting money on products that don't work, hit that subscribe button. We create in-depth guides like this that help you build lasting gardening success. Here's what most gardeners get wrong. They think soil is just dirt that holds plants upright. But healthy soil is a living system with four critical components that must work together. Structure, biology, chemistry, and physics. When even one of these breaks down, your plants suffer. You can water perfectly, provide ideal sunlight, and use expensive fertilizers. But if your soil structure is compacted, your biology is dead, your pH is off, or your drainage is poor, nothing else matters. The fertilizer industry wants you focused on NPK ratios, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Those matter, but they're only three of the 17 essential nutrients plants need. More importantly, if your soil structure is broken, plants can't access those nutrients anyway. It's like having a full pantry but a locked door. The five amendments we're covering today fix the foundational problems that fertilizer can't touch. Let's start with the most overlooked one. Amendment number one, biochar. And no, this isn't the same as charcoal from your grill. Biochar is created through a process called pyrolysis, where organic material is heated in a low oxygen environment. The result is a highly porous carbon structure that functions like a sponge at the microscopic level. Here's why this matters. One gram of biochar has a surface area of up to 500 square meters. That's roughly the size of two tennis courts compressed into a tiny pinch of material. This massive surface area does three things simultaneously. First, it provides habitat for beneficial microbes. Those microbes break down organic matter and make nutrients available to plant roots. Without biochar, these microbes have nowhere to colonize effectively. Second, biochar holds water and nutrients in its porous structure, then releases them slowly over time. This prevents nutrient leaching during heavy rain and reduces how often you need to water. Third, biochar improves soil structure by creating air pockets that prevent compaction. Roots need oxygen as much as they need water, and compacted soil suffocates them. The application rate is simple. Mix 10% biochar by volume into your top six inches of soil. That means for every 10 gallons of soil, add one gallon of biochar. You only need to do this once because biochar lasts for decades, even centuries. Ancient Amazonian terra preta soils, enriched with biochar over 2,000 years ago, are still incredibly fertile today. Cost-wise, a 10-pound bag of biochar runs about $15 and covers roughly 40 square feet. That's pennies per square foot for a permanent soil improvement. Amendment number two, gypsum or calcium sulfate. This one solves a problem that most gardeners don't even realize exists. If your soil is heavy clay, you know the struggle. When it's dry, it's hard as concrete. When it's wet, it turns into sticky mud that suffocates roots. The reason is clay's particle structure. Clay particles are flat and tiny, and they stack together tightly, leaving almost no space for air or water movement. Here's where gypsum works its magic. Calcium ions in gypsum bind to clay particles and cause them to clump together into larger aggregates. This process, called flocculation, creates space between particle groups where air and water can flow freely. The transformation is remarkable. Soil that once cracked in summer and pooled water in spring becomes loose and workable. Root penetration improves dramatically because roots can push through aggregated soil much easier than through compacted clay layers. Gypsum also addresses calcium deficiency without raising pH, which is critical. Many calcium sources, like lime, make soil more alkaline. 
But if your soil is already alkaline or neutral, adding lime creates new problems. Gypsum provides calcium and improves structure without changing pH at all. The application rate depends on your soil test, but a general guideline is 40 pounds per 1,000 square feet. Work it into the top 6 inches of soil. You'll see structural improvement within weeks as rain and irrigation help the gypsum penetrate and begin the flocculation process. A 40-pound bag typically costs around $12. For the area it covers and the permanent structural improvement it provides, it's one of the most cost-effective amendments available. Amendment number three, green sand. This is where we start addressing trace mineral deficiencies that fertilizers completely ignore. Green sand is a naturally occurring mineral called glauconite, formed from ancient ocean deposits. It's rich in iron, potassium, magnesium, and over 30 trace minerals that plants need in small amounts but can't survive without. Here's the problem with modern NPK fertilizers. They focus exclusively on three macronutrients, but plants also require micronutrients like iron for chlorophyll production, magnesium for photosynthesis, manganese for enzyme activation, and zinc for growth hormone synthesis. Without these, plants show deficiency symptoms, yellowing leaves, stunted growth, poor fruit development, even when NPK levels are perfect. Green sand releases minerals slowly over several years, this slow-release characteristic means you're not just feeding this season's plants, you're building long-term soil fertility. As green sand particles break down, they also improve soil structure by adding fine particles that help sandy soil hold moisture and help clay soil drain better. The application rate is 50 to 100 pounds per 1,000 square feet, mixed into the top 6 inches. Because it's slow-release, apply it once and it continues working for 3 to 5 years. A 50-pound bag costs about $20 and covers up to 1,000 square feet. When you calculate the cost over multiple years of benefit, it's extremely economical. One critical note. Green sand works best when soil biology is active. The microbes help break down the mineral particles and make nutrients available. That's why combining green sand with biochar, which houses those microbes, creates a synergistic effect. Amendment number four. Azomite, which stands for A to Z of minerals including trace elements. The name tells you exactly what it does. Azomite is volcanic ash that contains over 70 naturally occurring minerals in their elemental form. While green sand provides broad-spectrum minerals, azomite fills in the gaps with ultra-trace elements that most soil tests don't even measure. These ultra-trace elements, things like selenium, molybdenum, cobalt, and boron, are required in incredibly tiny amounts, but their absence creates cascading problems. For example, boron deficiency causes hollow stem in broccoli, cracked fruit in tomatoes, and poor seed development in many crops. Molybdenum is essential for nitrogen fixation in legumes. Without it, even soil rich in nitrogen can't support healthy bean or pea growth. The power of azomite lies in its completeness. Instead of diagnosing specific deficiencies and buying individual supplements, azomite provides the full spectrum in balanced proportions that nature created through volcanic activity millions of years ago. Application is straightforward. Use 5 to 10 pounds per 1,000 square feet, incorporated into the top few inches of soil. Because the particles are extremely fine, they begin releasing minerals almost immediately, with full availability within a single growing season. A 44-pound bag costs around $25 and covers up to 4,000 square feet. That's less than a penny per square foot for complete mineral supplementation. Azomite pairs exceptionally well with organic matter amendments because organic acids help break down the mineral particles faster, making nutrients available to plants more quickly. Amendment number five, worm castings. This is where biology meets chemistry in the most powerful way. Worm castings are exactly what they sound like. Earthworm manure. But calling them manure undersells their value dramatically. Worm castings are the result of organic matter passing through an earthworm's digestive system, where it's broken down and enriched with beneficial bacteria, enzymes, and growth hormones. The nutrient profile is impressive. Worm castings contain five times more nitrogen, seven times more phosphorus, and 11 times more potassium than ordinary soil. 
But the real power isn't in the NPK numbers, it's in the biology. Each gram of worm castings contains billions of beneficial microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa that continue working in your soil long after application. These microbes break down organic matter, suppress soil-borne diseases, and form symbiotic relationships with plant roots that improve nutrient uptake by up to 40%. Worm castings also contain humic acid, which improves soil structure and helps plants absorb nutrients more efficiently. They're pH neutral, so they won't disrupt your soil balance, and they're impossible to over-apply because they won't burn plants like synthetic fertilizers can. The application rate is flexible. For new beds, mix 25% worm castings with your existing soil. For established beds, top dress with a half-inch layer annually. For potted plants, use 10 to 20% castings in your potting mix. Cost varies widely. A 30-pound bag of quality worm castings runs about $30. While that's more expensive per pound than other amendments, the biological activity justifies the cost. Alternatively, start your own worm bin and produce castings continuously for free. A basic bin costs about $50 and produces castings indefinitely with minimal effort. The five amendments we've covered work synergistically. Biochar provides structure and microbial habitat. Gypsum improves clay soil. Green sand and azomite supply complete mineral nutrition. Worm castings deliver active biology that makes everything else work better. Together, they address structure, chemistry, and biology, the three foundations of healthy soil. And they cost a fraction of what most gardeners spend on fertilizers that only address surface symptoms. So here's your action plan. Start with a soil test to understand your baseline. Most county extension offices offer testing for $15 to $20. Once you know your soil type and deficiencies, prioritize amendments based on your biggest problems. If you have clay soil, start with gypsum. If your soil is lifeless and compacted, biochar should be first. If you're seeing deficiency symptoms despite fertilizing, add green sand and azomite. And regardless of your situation, worm castings provide biology that makes everything else work better. The total investment for all five amendments for a 1,000 square foot garden is about $100. That's less than most gardeners spend on fertilizer in a single season, and these amendments work for years, not weeks. This approach flies in the face of what the gardening industry wants you to believe. They profit from selling you the same products repeatedly. But when you fix your soil's foundational problems, you break that cycle. You spend less, grow more, and build soil that gets better every year instead of degrading. If this video changed how you think about soil, hit that like button and share it with someone who's struggling with disappointing harvests. Subscribe to GrowWise Vision for more science-backed gardening strategies that create lasting results.